Every day we manifest what we have been programmed to believe, what we concentrate on the most, and that is the condition in this society. We must continue the reestablishment of our communities and the self relationships we have within. And that is just the start. There's been an awakening. You are listening to Dark Matter Radio with your host, Ronnie. This is your host, Ronnie McQueen, and we are going to be talking about some fascinating things tonight. We're going to go back to the Black Civil War, and the reason why we're going to go back to that topic is because there's some things that have been happening lately in the quote-unquote indigenous community, uh, and also uh, ADSO community, that is, again, pitting each other against each other and uh, slowing down the progress as to where we need to really actually go. So I'm going to get straight to it. It's um, Kerry Davis uh, with Dane Galloway, or Kerry Davis first King Dane Galloway. Uh, it is something that just does not need to happen. So I was watching a few videos, and I heard one video uh, about maybe 30 minutes long. Dane Galloway was protecting himself against some sort of a slander, rumor, something like that, dealing with a video that was made so many years ago with some guy talking about African Americans and African and how the slave trade didn't happen and all this other type stuff. So apparently somebody out there didn't like the video and blamed Dane about it and perhaps maybe, I don't know what the real story was, but these are the kind of things that we don't need in the co-creation type community. If we're going to be out there, we're going to be changing the nature of who we are, what we are, and what we believe in, we need to begin the process of really understanding that we don't need to be going around attacking um, one another. We have enough things out there in this society that is doing just that all alone. We still have uh, a, a mercenary of police officers by the system that are out there just ransacking and killing people still. And we're, we're still having a lot of quote unquote what people call genocide out of the neighborhoods. And I don't call it genocide because if you don't own it, you know, they can do whatever they want in your property. But we still have a lot of displacement of people um, out of the original neighborhoods and having a lot of uh, quote unquote indigenous black people with absolutely nowhere to go. We do not have time, don't have time for any real malicious behavior towards one another and there has to be some sort of a meeting of a mind and this is the reason why when I was traveling around the country talking to every single one of these quote-unquote black leaders quote-unquote african-american leaders quote-unquote um, indigenous leaders chiefs etc about a grand council this is exactly the reason why we need one because um, it's imperative if we're going to be able to make it through this next economic disaster and all the things are going to come, it's imperative that we have some place for us all to be able to go with a meeting of the minds and not a meeting of the minds where it's going to be destroying us and tearing us apart as it always has done. Uh, it, it is important for us to know what our true history is. A lot of people stop their history with just the I'm not an Indian type uh, or I'm not a Native American or or they begin their history a little after or a little before uh, the invasion that came in. And you have to know that your history goes much, much further. further. And so no matter what anybody's out there doing and what they're 
saying it's important for us to make sure that we're all heading towards the same direction. When we're taking pit stops to threaten people, I'm going to destroy you, I'm going to rip you apart and all this other type stuff, we get enough of this own civilization that has done that to us already. You have to make note and remember, as Dane Calloway knows, Kerry Davis knows, P Professor Griffiths knows, uh, all of these now so-called leaders that are rising up, uh, a lot of the chiefs, they already know, over a hundred million of our people were slaughtered and killed on this land, on this land. And this is something that needs to be fought against. And if you're going to have hatred in your voice, if you're going to have disdain in your voice, it shouldn't be disdain for another person who is trying to do anything comparable that's trying to go into a direction as to where it's going to cause true freedom and not this phony fake freedom of the Emancipation Proclamation or of the, you know, setting free of the slaves in 1964, 65, whatever it was, um, because it never happened. So each and every one of us are still in the situation as to where we're in jail. We're still on the slave market, so to speak, uh, in terms of um, how the society actually views you. I mean, I can go into neighborhoods right now, coming down from Canada, I can go into neighborhoods right now where people have a disdain for me even walking into their shop. Why do you know why a quote-unquote black guy is coming into their shop? So when we're talking about black people against black people, or so-called indigenous people against indigenous people, this is something that has been going on for quite some time that this civilization that has destroyed the civilization that we came from put in place. Now, again, if you're not talking about freedom, if you're not talking about independence, if you're not talking about co-creation for themselves without government assistance, then in my opinion, you're not really talking about anything anyway. And both of these men, all three of these men, Professor Griff as well, um, is extremely important in terms of the things that we need to do in order for us to be moving forward. So it is not a time for us to get attitudes with one another over anything that is so petty of, about a video but to come together in a grand council for us all to be able to have a meeting of minds so that we can be able to, def to def not only defend ourselves, but actually make a plan to forge and move ourselves forward so that we can take ourselves out of this system once and for all and be free. I mean, we got people out here talking about reparations. You know, give us reparations, give me a check, or you don't need a check. I mean, you listen to all these quote unquote black politicians that are running around the place. They are a damn disgrace. Excuse my language, mother, but they are a damn disgrace to every single person of quote unquote indigenous background um, that, that actually belongs on this continent. A disgrace. And that one of them who are standing up there talking about I'm going to be your leader as president has talked anything of reality about the destruction of the doctrine of discovery about the ending of the war against an indigenous population here on this continent that has never ended in 500 years. They came here to annihilate, to destroy, to steal, to kill, to murder, to rape, and to genocide a whole entire being of people. That's what their plan is. Now their plan is, is to, to do even more. And they've succeeded in what they've done, except they didn't genocide everyone because they still need certain genetics and certain things from the population in order for them to be able to move forward. So when we're looking at each other and we're looking at the mistakes that maybe we have made some time, some, some time in the past or even now in the future, you cannot blame not one person for doing whatever they're trying to do to try to get themselves out of the system. But what we can do is blame ourselves for us be still being in the system, abiding in the system, and then still begging the system to give us a handout called reparations. Reparations is nothing more than a facet of a lie to try to cover up and sell the millions and millions of souls and the hundreds of millions of souls that have been killed into a position as to where they don't have to really answer for anything. So, like I said, you know, when it comes down to the Black Civil War, which is going on right now, 
Um, we need to really come together in the Grand Council. If you're serious about anything, you need to begin to start leaving your ego at the door. If you're serious about anything, you need to stop calling yourself a leader because a leader is somebody who can protect their people and there's not one person out there right now in North America or in North America, period, that is able to protect any of their people. Any of their people. In fact, those, I mean, you, you, you look at Negger Evix, um, you look at you look at Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, all those people who came out of whatever they were in and trying to be leaders, they got rid of them, right? So if you're not willing to talk freedom, real freedom, if you're not really talking about a real process of moving forward, such as going into co-creation communities and working together and building together and making sure that when this devastation does happen, this collapse, this calamity, the next calamity that's getting ready to go on, we will be able to have ourselves in a situation where we won't be so affected. It is their system, it is their world, let them deal with it. We need to be back into our system, our world, and let us deal with what we need to deal with. I'm sick and tired of people talking about racism, how they hate me, kill the white man, and all this other type of garbage. It is 100% a, a, a scapegoat of one's own personal responsibility and making sure that they are laying down the real true foundations for their people so that they don't ever have to beg somebody else again or ever be put in a situation as to where they're going to be killed, slaughtered, and mutilated, and murdered by the hundreds of thousands every single day. So my message to Kerry Davis, my message to Dane Calloway, my message to Professor Griff and to all of the other Afrocentric ADSO uh, reparation people, um, even the people who are looking at decolonization, my message to you all is let us develop this great grand council so then that way we will not have one against the other but all of us together against the one that is actually trying to do the most harm and that is the system that is the system this system is not good for whites, it's not good for Puerto Ricans, it's not good for Hispanics, it's not good for Africans, it's not good for Chinese, it's not good for Japanese, it's not good for any person on this planet. This system is a system to destroy all of mankind and then all other types of beings on this planet. It does not care about anything. And if we, if we at this time in history, at this time in history, that we are all born, our souls are here for a reason. And if the metaphysical world is, is, is real and what they say is real, we have chosen to be here at this particular time. And if we have not chosen to attack and kill one another, but we have chosen to try to destroy and get out of this system that is causing the carnage of the people of this earth. We must destroy the doctrine of discovery before anything happens. And also we must begin to start living in co-creation communities, protecting and organizing ourselves, so then that way, once again, we'll be able to have an understanding of what it is, not only about what our past is, but what it is to be able to govern ourselves. Because not one time in the last 500 years has any quote-unquote indigenous, quote-unquote black American or black person had a chance to know what it's like to be ruled by his or own people. We have no idea. The Jamaicans understand that, right? The Cubans, the Haitians, the, the Dominicans, right? Puerto Ricans. The Mexicans know that. Every other group on this planet has a, has a sort of an understanding of what it is to be self-ruler of themselves and their system. We don't have any of that. And it's about time that we do. So if you're serious, we must begin to start letting whatever mistakes anybody else has made in the past and stop attacking those people. So therefore, we'll stop attacking ourselves. It's almost like we're um, a, savage, a savage virus 
that is causing you to eat your own body limbs. It, it is just one disgusting venture. So I don't care how powerful you are or how strong you may be or what anybody claims to be, the most important thing is we need to be free. And if you're not helping towards that end to be free with all the information that we have bringing it together, then this population really doesn't need it. We will die. And if you don't want us to die, you don't want yourselves to die, if you want your people to die as they did before and you want to be able to help restore the balance to this world, then you will step up and do what needs to be done with the power that you are accumulating. Stop talking about racism and let's stop talking about self-hate because that's what all of this is. Let us get the real information out there. Let us combine ourselves and be that force to be reckoned with, that force of life, that force of love, that force of unity. And I hate to use that word unity, but that force of co-creation that will bring us together and prevent that Georgia Guidestone from becoming true. To prevent what happened with the, with, with the great massacre that happened of a hundred million people. And, I, and, and, and some say it was up to hundred more than a hundred million. You, you know, take, take a look at my, um, my, my documentary that I had that they killed so many people that they changed the climate of the earth. And that was just here in North America. Right? So, take a look at my documentary on, you know, are black people human? And see exactly what your genetics is all about and how it differs from everywhere else. You do have a past. Right? Take a look at, at the documentaries on the doctrine of discoveries. There's over six of them that I did on that. About ten hours worth. Take a look at that. The most important thing is make sure that everybody out there who is hearing my voice, don't choose a leader. You are your own leader, and that's what co-creation is all about. You are a person that is proud to be who you are, what you are, and, and that God within you is giving you the understanding of where you need to go because you know deep down in your heart, deep down in your soul, something is not right. Something isn't right and something needs to change. And you know deep down in your heart, deep down in your soul that the words that I'm saying to you right now is right. So let us all, as we're supposedly waking up together, let's move forward together and do what is right for the carbon-based beings of this world and for other beings of this world as well. Let us be who we're meant to be. Let us be co-creators, chaos beings, and builders. This is Ronnie McLean on New Thunder. If you're in the life, pay attention to what's going on around you. Remember, there is nobody there to lead you, but your mind is to lead yourself. And if you don't have self-love, you will never be able to have a co-creation with inside of you to be able to help your children to rise up and to be able to protect the ones that you love. Yes, it is all about you. Love you, so then that way you can love the things that are around you. Have a great evening. And the offense is nobody except ours if we go against each other. Have a great evening. Great Grand Rising to us all.